Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well we've been creating some hover effects here. We've got sort of animated borders and various hover effects. We did a blurb module zoom in the other day. Really easy to do. No coding involved with this today. And we had a question. Somebody asked, can you do a zoom out version of this? And sure you can. Just like this really easy to do so let's get started first thing I'll do is enable the visual builder let's go down to where we want to work and I'll just pop a new row in at the bottom here I'll use three again you can use whatever you want obviously I'm going to use a blurb module so I'm going to leave the text and title just as it is here obviously put in whatever content you want I'm going to use an icon for this today I'll flip that to use icon and we'll pop in an icon there we go and let's go over and just pop all this text in the middle okay I'm going to give it a bit of padding and a bit of a background so let's slide down to spacing and I'm going to give it 25 picks all round. Just do the 25, it'll put it in the picks for you. Hit the chain, it'll do the opposite side. I'm going to give it a bit of a background. So let's go to our content. I want a sort of opaque background that we can see through. So I'm going to do a color. I'm going to use black for this today. Any color will work click on the color I'm going to slide this slider down so we can see through it pretty well it will just darken down the image that we've got behind there so we can read our text a little bit better we can change this amount later on and let's just make our icon and text white in color so it stands out nicely text you can just flip it from dark to light or you can do them individually if you want a different title color okay that's great and let's make these because presumably when you're making these, you're going to have different con different amounts of text in each of your blurb modules. So I'm going to make it a consistent height. So again, I'm going to, still on the design tab, I'm going to go down to sizing. I'm going to choose a min height because on mobile, we might want it to go a little bigger. So that's why I'm using min height instead of height. Just slide it to where you want it. About the size that you want. Let's give it, say, 375. That'll do nicely. That way, if you copy it, different amounts of text, it'll stay that high. Obviously, if you've got more text, make it bigger. OK. Let's just save that. Now, I'm sure you know, if you've watched any of these before, the image that we're looking at initially there resides in the column background. So let's go ahead and put an image in. We'll go into our column into the row the green tab we're working on column one right here go put an image in got color gradient image or video I'm going to select an image there's our image in the background as you can see it's darkened it down we can read our text nicely and still see that okay we're still in the column for the row at the moment and if we think about what we've got to do I'm going to make this grow so it's huge then we, we hover over on it we want it to shrink down to regular size here so if we make it big it's going to be spilling out I don't want to see it if it's outside of what we've got going on here so while we're still in the column I want to go to the advanced I'm going to go down to visibility and overflow which is basically anything that spills out of here I want to be hidden I don't want to see it so I'm going to turn overflow to hidden Great, so we're good with our row. Let's save this, save the main row settings. Go back into our module here and we'll make the magic happen. So let's go into the module. And what I wanna do is make it a lot bigger. So if we go over to our design, go down to transform. And our first one right here is scale, which makes it bigger or smaller. Now, if you've got this chain linked, it'll do both sides at once. 
you can slide or type in a value but we want to set one for the hover state and one for the regular state if we roll over the dark writing at the top of here we've got a little arrow right there that lets us set desktop state when the mouse is not on it and a hover state when the mouse is on it now when we hover I want it to be 100% regular size when it starts off I want it to be huge so I'm going to go to desktop when we're not hovering over I'm going to take this up to say 200% obviously you do what works for you slide up fine tune with the little arrows there as you can see that's huge but you can't see it a because it's white and you wouldn't see it anyway but if we had modules next door it'd be spilling over those and b because we've got our overflow turned off on that column so it's going to start out like that then when we hover over it i want it to return to being 100 percent regular size again slide it and fine tune with a little slider there so non-hover bunk hover that size great but we don't want to see it at all until we actually hover over it and then when we hover over it we want to see it sort of fading from this to this sort of zoom out type effect so still on our design tab let's close that up and just above it you're going to find filters one we want today is opacity well that's transparency or see-throughness and again we'll hover over the dark writing there grab the little arrow when we're not hovering over it it wants to be big but we don't want to see it at all so we'll take the opacity down to zero we just want to see the image itself when we are hovering over it hover state I want it to be fully visible 100 percent fantastic okay now the default time that Divi actually takes to do that from one state to the other is 300 milliseconds which is pretty quick I want to slow it down for a bit of drama so still in our blurb settings I'm going to go over to advanced I'm going to go down to transitions and there's the default 300 mils I'm going to take mine up to about a second or something like that obviously you put yours how you want I want it to happen straight away so I don't want any delay as soon as they put their mouse on it I want to see this happen transition speed curve that I like to use for this is ease in ease out they're all slightly different so check them out but for most of my hover effects I like the ease in and ease out so if we've done this correctly let's just save what we got here and save the page changes we should have an image and then a zoom out blurb module exit the visual builder and let's go down there's our image and there we go we're sort of zooming out there let go and it zooms back in and disappears and that's taking about a second there as you can see it's not spilling outside of our column there that's where our overflow hidden came in really easy to do so you've got two now you've got the zoom in and you've got the zoom out how easy was that so i hope that's answered your question and i hope you found this useful today if you have please give it a thumbs up ring the bell comment share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and Webdesign and TechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.